Hi, Robert Galera from Healthy Kidney Inc. Thanks for watching today. And today we're going to talk about uric acid and kidney disease. So, uric acid is a natural breakdown product from foods, uh, foods higher in purine, and your kidneys are responsible for taking uric acid out of the body. And when the kidneys are damaged, it doesn't do a good job of taking uric acid out, which can build up and it becomes toxic to your body and it actually speeds the progression of the kidney disease. So uric acid, okay, not a good thing to have high amounts of. And a lot of doctors still aren't testing for this, which you should. And so we're going to go over everything in this video about uric acid. So you have kidney disease, there's a, there's a good chance that your uric acid levels are going to be elevated. So you want to make sure you have your doctor test your uric acid levels if they're not already. Don't assume that they're doing it, okay? Um, either ask or look for it on the blood work, okay? So you can get the blood work, and there's gonna be you know, a lot of numbers, a lot of things on there, but you're looking for uric acid, okay? That's U-R-I-C, acid, A-C-I-D. And you go look at the range. Now, the range on, on various blood works will vary depending on the lab. So they can be anywhere from 3.5, 3.4 to 7 being the higher end. I've seen other labs have 8 as their high end. I've seen other labs have 10. So this really depends and it goes lab by lab. When we're talking about kidney disease and the uric acid levels, anything that's 7 or higher, higher than 7 really, it brings up concern because we know that an elevated level speeds the progression of the kidney disease. So you lose function faster. And like I said, it will depend on the lab and it depends on your doctor if he's just going by those lab values. But I tell anybody that has a value higher than seven that you really should look to do something. Now, if you're an eight, a nine, a 10, uh, you definitely should do something. Like I said, higher than seven, you should look into it. You can always ask your doctor for medications that can lower uric acid. There's uh, two of them out there that are very popular. Uh, Euloric and allopurinol. It's debatable about which one's better. I think Euloric is a little better than allopurinol, but that's for you to discuss with your doctor. And the reason I mentioned medications, and I will mention natural options, is that naturally when the kidney is damaged, it's really hard to move out all that uric acid and to get rid of it. So medications are often one of your best uh, measures to take. And you don't even have to take the medication every day depending on what your levels are. So I have high uric acid. So I take, uh, I take Euloric and I usually take it like three days a week and that just that is enough to bring my levels down into a normal range along with all the supplements I take. So you can always look at the medication, discuss it with your doctor. I would uh, recommend it for majority of people because even with supplements and diet changes, when the kidney's damaged, it's hard to get that uric acid level down in normal range. So other options are diet. A lot of the, the uh, traditional diet is to avoid purines, foods high in purines out of your diet, but that generally is not gonna work for kidney disease unless you have a lot of those excuse me, a lot of those foods in your diet. So I don't really get into the diet that much with kidney disease because the kidney's damaged, so it can't move out the uric acid. So what's the third thing that we have? We have supplements, okay, supplements that can help. If your uric acid level isn't that elevated, you can take the uh, supplements first to see if it'll lower it, along with a good kidney disease diet, which will help before looking at medication, or you can use it in combination, the medication and the supplements together. So you use less meds, and get all the benefits of the supplements. So and there's a lot more benefits than just helping lower your uric acid. A lot of good things supplements can do for your body, your kidneys. So uh, this is coming, these three supplements are coming from the Nutrients Journal, published in August 2019. And they went through a lot of supplements and chronic kidney disease and uric acid and looked at different studies and research and test tubes, animals, little and people. And, Basically, it looks like there's three really good supplements that you can try to help your, lower that uric acid. One of them being curcumin. Okay, curcumin is the active component out of the spice turmeric. So if you're gonna get that in supplemental form, we like 500 milligrams a day of an extract, curcumin extract, and at least uh, three pills a day, so 1500 milligrams. Okay, there's also L-arginine, okay, which shown um, to possibly help with lowering uric acid. And the third one was vitamin C, okay? And I always prefer like an ester C, maybe a liposomal C. Those are better absorption, less irritating on the stomach. So you can look at those three supplements if your uric acid levels are high and you wanna take something to help. And they also help your kidneys in general. So they do a lot of good things for the kidneys, those three supplements. So we have curcumin, 
L-arginine and vitamin C. So you can try those out. Thanks for watching everybody, but main thing is first, get your uric acid level tested. Don't assume your doctor is doing it. Ask for a copy of the blood work to see it. And if it's not there, you just ask him on your next visit. And if he doesn't want to do it or she doesn't want to do it, whoever your nephrologist is, or your primary, who's ever uh, managing your blood work and writing labs for you, find another doctor, okay? Uh, just get someone else, all right? That will help you be more aggressive in your care. So get tested. Uh, consider the two medications if you have high levels or if you want to use them in combination with the supplements. That's the allopurinol and Yaloric. Those are the two meds. Or if your levels aren't that high, you can try just those supplements that I mentioned. Thanks for watching, everybody, and to your best kidney health. Bye.